Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Capel. I work for Dr. Glenn Gentry at Idlewild Research Station. We are working on a feral swine toxicant and we run a trapping program. This is my associate Tyler Woodard and he will be taking over my position and the trapping program. So today we will be talking to you a little bit about the bore buster system. This is a very new um, innovative design trapping, um, trap, a new trapping way to where it is actually fully suspended and you will see that shortly. The first things I want to tell you about with this exact system is you have to have exceptionally well cell phone coverage and it takes AT&T but you have to have 4G LTE at least two to three bars which is extremely hard to come by so this trap doesn't work everywhere so before actually bring before you check this system out so it'll be just like going to the library and check a book out you'll come in here fill out some paperwork and Tyler will tell you exactly how long you have it how much it costs for per month um, and you can check it out you bring a trailer they'll load you up and you're ready to trap but before you do any of that you want to walk around to the area that you choose on your property and, f and figure out if you'll have enough cell phone service so you'll go to your favorite trapping spot or a uh, place you've maybe trapped before or anywhere where you see you know a bunch of sign it's close to their bedding spot um, there's available food source in the area so they don't have to travel too far um, that way you can come and set your feeder up and the camera and once you set the feeder and the camera up then you can begin trapping if you have that exceptionally well cell phone coverage which I talked about earlier I'm really trying to stress that because it's it's imperative that you have that you have to have it for the system to work because this and the reason this system needs it is because it has live streaming capability and what I mean by that is, is whenever that cell phone when that camera turns on and you you're on your app and this whole thing this whole system run off an app it'll text you a picture and when that picture comes in you'll log on put your information and it'll come up and you say view stream and you can view stream and whatever is moving that area anything any um, non targets or your target species you can actually see them moving so that you don't have any chance of missing any pigs running in and out of the trap so at this point um, we'll bring bring it over to the actual setting up of the camera um, for purposes for this program we've or this talk we put the t-post in already this is the bore buster camera the most important part of this camera is this cell phone um, in where you put in the antenna if you turn this camera on without that attached the system will be fried um, so it's be a great idea if you attached um, the antenna that's right there um, with the booster antenna which can usually enhance your cover or your cell phone bar to at least one you will remove the bracket on the back at about chest height you want to put the camera on it'll sit right inside of these notches on the t-post you will put the back the backing back on take the screws screw them in screw the other one in until they are snug and tight takes just a minute You will need two zip ties. We have used a um, an extension pole that will be provided to you to to um, try to get the best cell phone coverage that you can get. So, like I said earlier, this is very important. You will want to screw on the antenna, pull over the waterproof sleeve, snug it on, and we will want to 
zip tie the pole to the T-post. On the bottom. We usually put the T-post about about 20 feet from the feeder. And I'll explain the feeder in just a minute. This contains four uh, or eight AA ultimate lithium batteries. Um, and that's, that's pretty necessary to have. All you have to do is turn the switch on and this might take a minute or two to actually connect to the service. And inside the box it has a um, display unit and it it tells you which indicators are necessary um, for the trap to work and the camera and then both of them simultaneously. So we're still waiting. Um, waiting on it to connect which takes a few minutes. So what we want to see is a check mark which means the motion sensor is armed and the unit is ready to send alerts. Now I have seen a low cellular signal strength before and I've, st I've still been able to use it. Um, and depending on what time of day is, how many people are on the cell phone, it might work better um, just depending on time of day. Which, that's just something that we've found. It says no GSM detected. So let's shut it off. We're going to retry it. Sometimes it takes a little while to get to get the network in. Wait till it shuts off completely and wait till it shuts off completely if you're ever removing these batteries. Let's turn it on one more time. Connecting. And it has ver version 1.6. So this camera actually needs upgrades maybe once a year. Um, and we actually have to send this, this camera into Board Buster. I'm not sure if it's once a year, but I know we have to send it in to uh, get the upgrades. Okay, so that's exactly what I wanted. We have three bars, 4G LTE. It's got a check mark. You're ready to go for this step. Okay, so now we're gonna move along and go to the feeder. This is the, this is the feeder that we have chosen for the strapping program. Um, and the reason that we have this tin on here is because this trap is only 16 foot in diameter. So if we had any corn on the outside um, or a little bit on the edge, the pigs, by the time that the entire trap drops, might not have enough time. We may not be able to catch them all. So we drop the corn straight down to where they all have to be right under here um, so that we have a better trapping success. Um, so inside of this, there is a a programmable feeder timer that that you you will plug in to your six volt battery the negative and the positive and it'll go through the system and you'll set feed times um, usually the feed times that I like to set are about 7 p.m. and 10 p.m and once once more at about 6:30 a.m. so that there's always food on the ground so you'll go through the system and if you have any if you have any problems you can um, call Tyler and ask him at Idaho Research Station you'll put it back in goes through the slot and you will put the wing nut back on then you're ready to trap so you have the feeder going your cameras ready and at this point we're waiting on the pigs to show up and to, en to entice the pigs coming you might put out some mash, some soured corn or anything like that just to really have some essence flowing through the air and to bring in um, your targeted species. So after this 
this pro this part of the process might take anywhere from five to ten days sometimes even faster um, and then we will actually begin putting the bore buster trap up so there is six inner pieces and six outer pieces for purposes of this video we have connected three pieces one wait four pieces already and you want the legs you want to do one leg one blank panel one leg one blank panel one leg one blank panel um, so that it supports the whole system so you will need um, a three-quarter wrench and a three-quarter socket so we will begin by taking your your nut and your screw lining up uh, the holes put the the nut on the screw there's one on the top one on the bottom this system absolutely has to have the capability to or not the capability to be on very flat land okay so next we want to put put the rest of the screws on Let's see. Yeah. One on the bottom, one on the top. It's the same for all of them. We have an impact wrench, but you might only have a socket, which is fine. It just takes a little bit longer. You want to snug it up really nice and tight. Okay, so we have the, the inner ring complete. Now you want to take the outer ring. The most important piece is the gate. The gate will come in. The gate that has the inner receiver always is on a pole for extra support. We'll slide this back to where the spindle with the roller goes in like so and the rest go on the same way All right. go around the spindle goes in the slot all of them do the same These I put together just for purposes of this video. Okay, now you want to put you want to put all of the screws and bolts on, but you want to leave them loose. Otherwise, you'll have a hard time getting them all together. takes a few minutes we, we could stop until I do all of these okay so we will put on our last last do our last nut and bolt so after in the beginning you wanted the inner receiver with the gate on one of the poles doesn't matter which pole and the next thing you want to see to the right of the inner receiver you will have a blue roller and it goes the opposite way of all the black rollers which is like this put on 
the washer. I need a 15 16 wrench and you put on the nut. And we will snug it up with the 15 16 wrench. This this blue one, this blue roller keeps all the trap from com coming off the rollers. So it's very important. You want to make sure it's nice and snug. One thing that you really need to keep in mind is we use white lithium grease on all of the spindles. The spindles are underneath the rollers, which support the rollers. And the rollers will not freely move if they do not have white lithium grease. So before you get these, we should have white lithium grease on them, but if we don't, it's a very good idea to make sure that they have adequate amount of white lithium grease on them so that they move freely and this system doesn't get stuck. All right, now we will want to take our control unit and slide it into our inner receiver. And we have a pin, here's a pin, I put it on the back for safety. We'll have Tyler, all those locks, they're all locked. Okay. We'll make sure all the legs are locked. Uh, it's in the down position. We will take out the winch. You want to slide it onto this piece. Now, I didn't explain, explain it earlier, but this piece goes on the spindle that is in front of the gate. We'll clip it there. Pull the tight, and begin cranking. And this is bringing up the inner ring. Okay, we want to drop each leg, you pull these and make a 90 degree, some don't work as well, alright, drop the rest of the legs, is it on there yet, drop the leg, now wait till it clicks in there. You can see it's locked. That leg is done. Move on to the third leg. Drop it. Unlock it. Pick it up a little bit. Locked. Our third leg is ready. We will do the same thing. We will unlock it. We will pull. Oh man. Oh, that was heavy. There we go, it's locked in, okay. Now, we want to unwind this, and it should sit nicely on the legs. Take off this, lift it back up, pull this out. That was in the inner receiver, now we're gonna go in the outer receiver. Put the pin back in. Okay, you want to line the holes up, and now we're going to drop, we're going to let this spin. Ready? Oh, 
You want to clip this on the bottom of the panel, not this, not the one that's loose, the one that's stable right here. You want to flip it back up. Yeah. You want this clip down, and if it's in the lock position, there's a button to drop it, but it has to have pressure. Okay? Okay, it's locked in. You can release this. It's sitting on this. The trap is caught. There is a safety loop that you can put that on so it's not in the way. This is very important. This is the safety chain. You want it at all times when you're not trapping, you want to have it there just in case you're moving in and out. That could save you. Okay, so at this point, you're ready to trap. In here, we will have these batteries already plugged in. There's a safety box in here. Takes a second. There's eight batteries. These batteries will last a couple weeks. And you know it works if you push this button and you test, and the green light will come on. But if I push that button, this gate will fall. So I'm not gonna show you for that. Here, Tyler, I'm gonna let you do this. Put these on here. Okay. So now that this part of the trap is fully complete. When we get to the trapping, when we're ready to trap, we will remove the safety feature. We'll put it here for, for right now. That camera over there at this point would have recognized that that, that trap control box is ready to talk. So you don't have to sync them, they sync themselves. So then now it's ready to trap. The feeder's in the dead center. There's plenty of corn on the ground. Now we're ready to get onto the app itself. So the app is called Bore Buster, the Bore Buster app, same name as this. And if you want to go onto the service, the Bore Buster um, username and password is mcapel at agcenter.lsu.edu and we'll tell you the password when you actually use this system, uh, when you pick it up. You can log on and you can do a live stream. And live streams will be able to see me moving from here to there and all around the trap, under the trap. And you can do that, I think, for about two minutes until it'll cut you off and then you can do it again. So if Tyler's ready, takes a little while because like I said before you have to have good service the system takes a little while but the app it's free of charge you just go onto the app store and download the app on your cell phone or your iPad um, anything that has Wi-Fi or wireless connection so it's, it does take a it takes a little while um, but usually the pigs will stay under there I've seen them stay up there as long as 45 minutes. Sometimes they're only 10 minutes. But the reason you want the live streaming is you don't want the pigs to run in and out on you and you miss some. One thing is after you drop this gate, you will need to go back onto the app and rearm the system. It does not do it for you. So every time we drop this, we'll go back onto the system and just click arm. And it's that simple. But it will be deployed as they say and you can't do it again unless you rearm the system and one one downfall that we've seen with this system unlike other systems that we carry is that you can only put one person on this at a time 
which it, it it's hard because when there's a lot when there's a lot of people helping trying to trap pigs at night um, it makes it easier it's not everybody has to stay up but this system there's only one person that can actually check the camera all night with um, the motion sensor so when a animal comes under it could be a non-target it could be your target species it'll drop it'll text you a picture let you know then you go into the app do live streaming if you want to drop the gate you can drop the gate so now uh, now that the trap's set up ready to go I am logged in I've got live streaming I can see myself moving and I will go on and click activate and this takes only about a, a minute for it to drop and I'll do deploy deploy trap it's very fast very fast um, and the reason that is because they don't want the pigs to get out while you're looking so it's deployed you can get out and you'll have to put it now that it's deployed you have to rearm it I push arm and it's ready to go so now I'm gonna quickly show you how to um, take this part down now that we showed you how to drop the trap so I want to lift this take the pin out move this from the outer to the inner receiver drop the pin back in close it up grab this you want to lift it up just a little bit to keep your, your legs off the ground you want to pull the legs up drop it down wait till it clicks you want to do the same for all three okay drop it down wait for it to click and you want to slowly let it down but don't just let it don't just let it go and let it do it real quick just let it down slow Now that it's on the ground, it's, fair, it's safe. You can coil this back up. You can do it all the way. But for this purpose, we're not going to go all the way. And you can take all the nuts and bolts apart. It comes in 12 pieces. Pack it up, move it to a new location, or not. But once you, got, once you have trapped the pigs, um, you can either, you know, kill them and dis dispatch of them. And you, without having to be like super dangerous or once this is up, you can slide this open and crawl in there and remove the pigs. Um, also, if you don't want to keep the pigs, um, they have to be shot in here for purposes of escape or a um, number of reasons um, we have the opportunity if you don't want them to come and back our trailer up and load these pigs out and we have a transporters license and we have a holding pin license um, which allows us to do that um, and that was just recently passed so once once you dispatch the pigs or we remove them you want to go in there and remove all the feces because the feces have um, pheromones in them that the pigs that are stress pheromones and the stress pheromones come from the pigs that have obviously been stressed because they know they were caught and if you don't take out the feces then you might have an issue of catching more pigs but the one good thing about this trap is it takes down part of the process so whenever this system is fully um, suspended um, the pigs see straight through. Naturally, pigs don't just look up. So they can see straight through. They're very comfortable. And they're more inclined to go in, unlike other traps that um, we are currently using. Um, and I think that's about it. Just, just remember that booster antenna and this system has to have 4G LTE service. At least two, maybe three bars for it to work. So if you don't have that, 
I don't recommend you picking up this trap um, from, re from renting it from Idlewild. 